Kalkutsa. Welcome after a good win over Italy today. Um, just some of the how the game went today. Just a good, a good performance, a good solid performance. Um, Bowlers did the job up front, um, and a number of them putting their hand up. Um, Madge again, outstanding, and um, Safi bowled beautifully again today. And he finished finished the innings off well with a few nice Yorkers, and then. Um, uh, the, our top order did, jo did the job again with uh, Barrow and Cloudy, an outstanding 100 run for the partnership. Um, the Italians got off a, a good start. Uh, were you worried at any point? I think, you know, that's T20 cr cricket. We've got to be expecting them to come out and, and go hard from the off. And, and they did, they got a few boundaries away. We gave them a little bit, little bit of width, but when we started to pull it back, um, and we picked Safi came and picked the picked up the wicket of Bargain. Um, we had control of the game really from, from there on out. Um, big game tomorrow. We'll play the the losers of UAE, Holland. Um, is there any team you'd, you'd prefer to face as they do that? Um, you know, we've we've got one over Holland already in this trip. Um, UAE have, are, can be quite hit and miss. But either way, we've, we've got to get the, the results, so um, you know, I don't really want to pick out one of them, but um, you know, we'll just have to take the day when it, when it comes around tomorrow and, and you know, just assess our, uh, our options and our game plans and you know, just get the job done. Um, how will you go about preparations for tomorrow's game? Uh, well, we'll find out tonight, later on today, who actually wins that game and then, and then we'll know who our opposition is. Um, and then we'll get together as we do and have a bit of a team meeting and see some footage and um, talk through some of their stats and some of their information and some of the strengths and weaknesses that um, it's just sort of the end thing to do these days you've got to do you know you've got the opportunity to know and have some insight in the opposition so we make the most of it so we've been very good with that so far. Um, it's been a, a bit of a mixed fortunes tournament Scotland so far, a lot of people ruling themselves off. Um, how have you found it? It's been it's been challenging, um, but we've since we've been in, in uh, the U UAE, we've actually we've won seven and lost three. Unfortunately, um, a couple of those have been in the in the tournament phase. Um, we played some good opposition um, in the warm-up games as well, and we we played some really good cricket. Um, it's just the nature of T20 cricket, you know. We're we're a good side. Um, and play some, some very good cricket, uh, and you know that's what happens in T20 cricket. Is you, you know you can, you can get turned over on on, uh, on another side's good day, um, but we've been very consistent throughout, consistent in preparation, consistent in performance, um, and just our every day, um, you know, leading up to games has been very good. So um, you know I can't ask any more of the team or of the players. You know they're all. Giving their all, and, and that's that's all you can really ask. Um, Paul Collingwood has obviously joined the Scotland coaching setup. What influence has he had? Yeah, he's been outstanding. He's he, he's one of the most positive coaches I've I've come across. He just makes you feel good about yourself. Makes you feel good about your game. Um, I know um, guys have um, commented and said that they they've loved every minute of him being around and. Um, you know, I can only really say thanks to him because he's been outstanding, um, and, and I'm sure, you know, just even if he if he hadn't done that side, even just him being here and the knowledge that he's bringing to the team, you know, is going to add great value to us. Um, it's been quite a few solid performances, um, particularly with, with the bat. Um, anyone who's, who's really stood out for you? Um, the top three have been outstanding. Uh, Cloudy. Barrow and Mitch, they've you know been very consistent. Along with um, uh, Rob Taylor coming in, you know towards the end of the innings, they've played some really vital um, you know innings for us. Um, and, you know they've just been they've just been great. They know their roles. They know how they're going to score their runs. Um, they've assessed different fields. Like today was very different different field compared to what we have been playing on. The boundaries were a lot bigger. Hence, no sixes were hit throughout the game. Um, and tomorrow is going to be another one of those. It's a big field at uh, Abu Dhabi, so um, you know we've just got to assess the conditions, assess the wicket, and you know, put, put the right performance in. One win away from a World Cup, 
you excited at the prospect? Yeah, I'm very excited. But we've got to take every day as it comes. You know, you can't um, you, know, you can't approach tomorrow with the game making it feel like it's any different to any other. Um, we're on the roll at the moment with four from four. Um, and, you know, we've got the momentum going our way. The guys are feeling confident. We should go in tomorrow with, um, you know, full of confidence and, and try and make it five from five. Good luck tomorrow then, Cam. Cheers. See you later. Bye.